Mark chapter 1, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. I am standing in the Jordan River right now. This is where John the Baptist was baptizing people and preparing them, giving them a baptism of repentance, saying, do you understand who's about to come? Look, this is not just another human being that's going to show up. He really understood his unworthiness. And as I stared at that and I thought about this and the series we're doing, do you recognize how holy this is? I've been wrestling with this thinking, God, who am I to even speak about God becoming flesh? And I can only imagine as he's coming, like, what do you do? What would it feel like to stand in front of your creator. These are holy, holy, holy things. Man, it is so, so sad. If you have lost the fascination of Almighty God emptying himself and taking the form of a man, God, I pray that as we pursue and we read this book together and we journey through the life of your son, God, that we treat this as sacred, as holy, 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 like no other news on the earth, God. Change our hearts. Help us to see that everything else is so ridiculous compared to this one great truth of you becoming man, dying on a cross for all of our sins, rising from the dead. God, teach us how to marvel again. Teach us to be fascinated with the good news of Jesus Christ.